Nyandarwa based Kinangop Dairy has grown from a milk collection cooling plant to an ultra modern milk processing plant with a capacity of 320,000 liters. And with the introduction of its Fino machine, its capacity is set to further scale up. In the past, we have been known for foreign fighting, but I think here we demonstrate that we can also do something. We can add value to our products, we can, we can create employment and we can reduce poverty in this country. So the capacity is on our hands to fight poverty, to create employment, to empower people, to empower farmers. I've seen the, the animal feeding systems where they want the country to, to support them. We will do whatever it takes to assist. To help actualize this, the County Assembly of Nyandarwa is developing a legal framework for public-private partnership that will make the county's economy driven by the private sector. Devolution funds, those funds are supposed to support the people of Nyandarwa County. So it is up to us to prepare the policies and the legislation to be able to partner with the private sector here and support them. Because they'll be supporting our farmers. They'll be supporting our people in the, in the county, even though they'll make their profits. But I'd rather have a county that is making profits than a county that is marginalized. The processor is banking on the early child development school feeding program as well as increased demand for dairy products across the country to reap from the increased capacity. State of art technology, that's what we want them to adopt the state of art technology which is more efficient and which is able to produce more milk at a lesser cost to the farm. And then we create value, we add value. We have seen milk that is able to last for six months. That is what we call value addition. So when there is drought, we can be able to sell our milk at a higher cost during those moments. Currently, we are not able to process all our milk, and that's how the poverty is coming in. Nyandarwa County government plans to hold an international investment conference in March 2018 as it seeks to attract investors to tap into opportunities in the devolved unit. Judith Akolo, Channel One Business.